Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is the Abrahamic Covenant. Everybody has heard about the Abrahamic Covenant, in which the Lord has promised Abraham that his descendants, his seeds, will be numerous as the stars in heaven or the sand on the sea. What does that mean? Is there any place in the Bible where now it is confirmed that this covenant will be completed and fulfilled? First of all, it means that from Abraham many descendants will come who will be righteous, who will follow the commands of the Lord, what we will call today true Christians, the follower of Jesus Christ and the followers of the commandments of the Lord, Ten Commandments. And with the Ten Commandments, the statue that were given at Mount Horeb or Mount Sinai to Moses. This together with the faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will make up a true Christian. Now, somewhere in the Bible it should be seen that this covenant is now fulfilled. Is there a place where we will see a group so huge that nobody can number it? We see in some places where the army is coming against Israel with a lot of manpower and many people and numerous. But this is not what is meant. It must be something positive for the kingdom. And of course we will find it. And where we will find it? In the book of Revelation. When we come to the sixth seal, what we know as coming down of Mount Zion, when the people seeing something huge coming and they're hiding in the caves of the earthly mountains because they're afraid of the wrath of the Lamb that will come and who will be able to stand before him. That is because they see something huge coming down. And that is Mount Zion, the mountain not carved with human hands. Now, if we look at this passage in the book of Revelation, what do we see there? We see there the ceiling of the 144,000. All right, today this is not our topic. And after that, we see a multitude clothed in white. And what is written there? A multitude so close, so great and so big, that nobody can number it. There we have a direct link to the Abrahamic Covenant and the fulfillment of the Abrahamic Covenant because the multitude closed in white will be ruptured into paradise. The fulfillment of the Abrahamic Covenant, a multitude closed in white, a multitude ready to enter paradise, a multitude ready for the Lord, will be ruptured into paradise. And a multitude that nobody could number, as it was promised in the Abrahamic covenant, your descendants, your righteous people that will follow you, will be as the stars in heaven and as the sand of the sea. Nobody can number it. A fulfillment in the book of Revelation at the sixth seal. Every glory goes to the Father and to his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Praise Jesus that everything what is written will be fulfilled. The Abrahamic covenant will be fulfilled with a multitude closed and white at the base of Mount Zion at the sixth seal. And you will be part of this if you walk with us in the great exodus towards the holy mountain. And on this mountain there is a holy city of David. And we will enter their paradise. And the cherubim that stands guard at the entrance of paradise will let us pass because we are clothed in fine white linen. And the fine white linen are the righteous deeds of the saints. 
everything is ready to be an example and precept on pre precept and line upon line all what is written will and must be fulfilled and the Abrahamic covenant will be fulfilled with a multitude clothed in white I hope that you like this topic today another understanding from the Bible and there are many many patterns that will be repeated like the Exodus to the Great Exodus the walk to, through the wilderness to Mount Sinai and the walk through the wilderness to Mount Zion the coming down of God on Mount Sinai and the coming down of God in sick darkness on Mount Zion or with Mount Zion his secret place everything will be fulfilled as it is written O oh, daughter you tower of the flock, you daughter of Zion, the tower of the flock. To you it will come the first dominion, Micah for it. The first dominion, Jesus Christ, will come to you, O daughter of Zion. And then the sealing will take place and the rapture. And then the trumpet will blow. And then the great revelation will start. So be ready, walk with us that path to Mount Zion. Walk with us in righteousness. See all the pattern. Read the Bible, look for yourself that everything what we say is confirmed and confirmed and confirmed. It's time. Time to come out of the world and out of Babylon. Join us. Help us to spread this message to gather as many people as possible towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. If you are guided, please sow into the ministry that we have the funds to spread the message to the rest of the world. That everybody who is still doubting now will come and see the glory of the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise Jesus Christ. People of God, you have to come together and love, unity and support. People of God, share your resources, support one another, lift up the needy. You are called for that. And even if you do not see, how much greater is a person that does not see but has faith, then have faith in what the Lord is calling you for. Come out of the world and out of Babylon. Be part of the great exodus towards the holy mountain. Join us. Join triple slash triple grace dot com. The link is in the description box below. If you guide it, support us. Let more videos come out. Let more pattern be revealed. Let the truth come out, because the truth will set you free. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today, and I hope you liked it, and you will come back tomorrow. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day. Maranatha.